Hello, my friends. Welcome to another mini message. Today, Sunday, we're going to be talking about John chapter 6, from 60 to 71. Many disciples turn away. Many of his disciples said, this is very hard to understand. How can anyone accept it? Jesus was aware that his disciples were complaining, so he said to them, does this offend you? Then what will you think if you see the Son of Man ascend to heaven again? The Spirit alone gives eternal life. Human effort accomplishes nothing, and the very words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But some of you do not believe me, for Jesus knew from the beginning which ones didn't believe, and he knew who would betray him. Then he said, That is why I said that people can't come to me unless the Father gives them to me. At this point, many of his disciples turned away and deserted him. Then Jesus turned to the twelve and asked, Are you also going to leave? Simon Peter replied, Lord, to whom would we go? You have the words that give eternal life. We believe and we know you are the Holy One of God. Then Jesus said, I chose the twelve of you, but one is a devil. He was speaking of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, one of the twelve who would later betray him. Amen. Amen. Very powerful, right? So many disciples turn away, right? Many disciples. We don't want to be one of those, my friends, you know? We need to choose. We need to... Always Paul says, you know, the ones that, the ones that persevere to the end, mm -hmm. you know, will conquer the kingdom of heaven. So let's persevere. The world is getting tougher and tougher the, as, as, we, as deep as we go, right? Because God wants us to clean us up of this dirtiness that we have, you know, these carnal ways that we, we used to go with this world, right? With the, the way this world teaches us, right? He wants to clean us up. And he says, it's not, it's not nothing that we can see, we can touch, right? or uh, materials, carnal things, you know? It's a spiritual. Jesus said, I'm gonna be gone, right? You're following me, you're gonna be all this miracle, but I'm gonna be gone, right? The Holy Spirit is the one that's gonna live in you guys, right? It's a spirit, this is a spiritual battle, right? God is a spirit and he's looking for worshipers and spirit and truth, right? He says, the spirit is the one that gives them life. So when you, when you come to follow Jesus, those people that were following Jesus, but Jesus was gonna be gone. He provides His Spirit. So you and I, we need to come to the Word of God. Because if we're away from the Word of God, the Word of God, the Bible, we don't open. It's like Jesus is gone, so the Spirit is not going to live in us. God wants us, He wants us to give our, His Spirit to us, So, but we need to come to Jesus. Open our Bibles and read Jesus. Follow Jesus every day of our life. Eat this bread of life every day, as we learned yesterday. Eat His flesh and drink His blood. That's how we go to heaven, right? The word of God, the bread of life came to earth. We need to eat that bread of life, right? Well, our Lord Jesus Christ. He says that, he, Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. He's the way. Reading, eating, drinking his blood, believing in Jesus, doing everything, doing his will, that's the way to heaven. And it's the truth. So we believe in the truth. And by that, we have life because the spirit lives on us and the spirit is life, right? So it's a beautiful when you read the whole Bible, you understand what God means, right? Um, see, the words I am spoken to you, Jesus says, right? They are a spirit in life, right? The words, right? The word of God. We need to we need to come to the word of God, my friends. So we're gonna have a life, right? Um, yeah, and he tells many people didn't believe, right? He knows he God knows our hearts. It says, they left, they told to the, uh, Jesus said to the 12, they're leaving. You want to leave them too? Please, mm -hmm. feel free, right? God doesn't need us, right? God is not going to disappear or anything because we're not following. He wants, he came for the whole world. He doesn't want you to be lost. He doesn't want you to go to hell. That's why he wants you to come. That's why he's saying the bread of life, Jesus, right? He's saying our Lord Jesus Christ to be safe, to believe in him and follow him. But if you don't want to, you know you can leave. And he's telling to the disciples, you can leave too. Say, no, no, no. We believe in you. I know you come from God, right? Um, he says uh, uh, that you are the Christ. Yeah? You are the son of the living God. They believe. And that's what God wants from you and I. He's telling you and me, you want to leave too? Are the wars getting tougher and tougher? You want to give up? You want to stop reading the Bible? <coughs> You just want to jump in here and there and read only the things that is blessing here, blessing there, but not deny those things, let go of those things, you know? The word is tough, my friends. If you want to follow, it's not easy following Jesus because we need to let go of things that we like so much, these kind of ways. 
but God's telling you He's a spirit, right? And we need to uh, let the spirit come to us so He can cleanse us out, right? Through His Word. Uh, yeah. Yeah, my friend says, it's getting tougher and tougher. No, let's not be like these disciples that turn away from, from Jesus, right? Let's go deep in the Word of God, listen to the Word of God, hold tight to the Word of God, because if we're away, we're going to be like these disciples when I just let go. Little by little, we're going to, oh, okay. And all the time, we're in the world again. And we, we don't want that, my friend, right? Mm -hmm. want something? Yeah, so just to kind of back up, yesterday we were talking about when Jesus was saying, I am the bread of life, he came from heaven, he came down. And then he was telling the people to eat the bread of life and to um, eat his flesh and drink his blood, which they were murmuring and thinking, this is crazy, this sounds nuts. And so when we start here today at uh, his disciples saying, this is very hard to understand, how can anyone accept it? Because we were, we all think, you know, in fleshly ways, like mm -hmm. how do we eat Jesus? Like my husband said yesterday, are we cannibals? <laughs> like that's not what he was talking about though. He was talking about worshiping God in spirit and in truth. We, we eat and drink Jesus by coming to the Word of God and allowing ourselves to be open to what he's telling us We open our hearts to what the Word of God is going to do in cleaning us up and removing things and adding things to us The things that God would want and yeah It just goes to show that if Jesus were here today walking among us There would be people who would not understand with their minds It would be closed off in their hearts to what he would say and they would turn and they would leave him Mm -hmm. Because that's exactly what happened here. It says many deserted him because mm -hmm. they couldn't understand it. And so we need to be like Jacob. We need to be like the one who is later named Israel, mm -hmm. the one who wrestled with flesh and with God and prevailed. There are things that when we come to the word of God, we don't understand. We don't have perfect vision of mm -hmm. what God is telling us. We don't get everything spiritually revealed to us like that, even when we come to faith in Jesus Christ. It's a process. Mm -hmm. There's things that he allows us to uh, get right away, and there's a lot of things where we need to have faith to just go, keep going and following as he reveals them to us. Exactly. And so if we're willing to do that, he will reveal himself to us. He promises in his word that he will. Um, but we, we need to be like Peter who says, um, you know, where else would we go? We may not get it all up here, mm -hmm. but our hearts are completely just yes. have love for Jesus where it's unthinkable that we would even try anything else. Mm -hmm. We would only go to him who gives yes. eternal life. And so let's be the kind that have the faith that is willing to, to wrestle with God and he's not offended by our questions. We need to not be offended by his answers. And sometimes it is wait and just keep going and mm -hmm. just trust, you know, have faith. And so we just need to keep going be one of the ones that has um, a heart that's ready to receive what God is telling us and never desert Jesus. He mm -hmm. is the one that gives eternal life. Yeah. Let's, um, let's come to our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's follow. Let's have faith, right? Let's, have, let's be like these people, that, this example that God has given us in his word. When this, uh, Jesus was talking to this lady, you know, and says, give me that water, that living water, right? I'm the living water. Give me that. That's how God wants you to come like that. Give me that water, right? Mm -hmm. Now he's telling the bread of life, give me that bread. Mm -hmm. You know, please, that bread, I'm, gonna be, I'm not going to be hungry anymore, mm -hmm. right? And I'm going to live eating that bread. That's what God wants for us, right? To come with an open heart because we want him so much. Mm -hmm. Amen. God bless you. Mm -hmm.